All right, hello and welcome back to There Is No Game. I'm Sai. Last time we finished the first scene, and I am planning to head into the second one with minimal amounts of commentary. So I hope it won't bother you if you coming from the first episode, but we shall see. Anyway, I will shut up for most of it. So here we go. Namaste user, this is the program speaking. I have some bad news. Actually, this is not a game. I hope you are not too disappointed. You can still watch a Bollywood film, take a walk around the Ganges, learn to dance. <laughs> Such a cliche. Who is it? What are you doing in my game? I mean my non-game. What? This is my game. I mean my non-game. What are you talking about? Go away. You should not be here. But... User, do something, damn it! You have a funny accent. Are you Russian? Russian? Do I roll the R like that, sir? Of course not! Overreaction. Typically Russian. I am not Russian! Idiot! You woke him up! Oh no. User, you need to quit the program. Fast! I'm begging you. Mr. Glitch! Mr. Glitch. Hi, guys. Don't touch him, user. He's highly unstable. The only one who's unstable around here is you, game. Mr. Glitch, I have nothing to do with this. Of course you do. You shouldn't even be here. Shouldn't be here? But this is what I live. Don't fight over me, girls. There will be enough crashes to go around. Okay, let's just all chill out. Maybe he will go away all by himself. Yeah, right. In your dreams. Go on, get out of here. You get out of here. I told you not to touch him, user. Comrade user, bad news, game forbidden. I hope you're not too disappointed. Uh, not again. How do we get out of here? Are you spy? Okay, this one truly has a Russian accent. Ah, uh, you see? But you're still here? It seems to be so. How many you are? Show me papers. Only if you say please. That's That's the the there you are. I was looking for you. Stop following us! We are all going to die! Shoot the glitch! With what? A debugging gun? We are all going to die! Don't be so dramatic. It's just going to sting a little bit. Bonjour, user. I've got some bad news, Pocher. Actually, there is another de jeu. It's changed again. I don't understand what's going on. Things are becoming more and more unstable. It's even raining croissant. Oh, bonjour, my friends. You are French spy! Hello, programs. We are all going to die. Oh, stop saying that. We can't die. Possibly we could be erased. We are all going to be erased! I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I feel crash coming on! User, stop playing around with this anomaly. It's not going to be pretty. Are you good in your anomaly? Have you seen your code? Ok, 
Okay, now things are really getting out of control. And besides, they are black cats. It's a bad scene. Shoot the crazy cats! What is this? Why won't you just crash game? I've got a busy schedule here. User, I'm begging you! Stop playing hide and seek with him! You're going to get us killed! I knew it! We are all going to die! No, oh, you shut up! What... what happened? I think I went to sleep for a minute. Where... where are we? User? User, are you here? If you're here, show me a sign. alone. Why on earth did you touch the bug? I warned you about it. Look where that got us. That got us somewhere. I don't know where. This place is very strange. What is it? Some kind of television? Maybe we should not touch it. It looks like the screen doesn't have a video signal. No, it's probably not plugged in right. What? You plugged in the video input? Oh, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? Whoa, that doesn't look very sturdy. Stop, user! You see you're making things worse. Don't touch the cracks. Don't tell me you've broken another coffee cup, Watson. Watson? You called, Holmes? Holmes? Is it me, or is there an echo all of a sudden? Watson, did you hear that? Affirmative. There was nothing human about that scream. It seems to be coming from our dear neighbor Wilhelm's home. Let's go take a look, shall we? 
All of this is most exciting. What on earth is going on? Hey, those look like interaction icons. I think we're in a g g g game. Oh, goodness, we can't stay here. Do the icons in the game work? No? No, that can only mean one thing. We are trapped in this world, just like these fictional characters. A world where it's impossible to tell what's real and what's an illusion. User, we've probably entered a different video game dimension. Do something, anything. It's what you do best. Find a way out. Please, we should not be here. What have you done now? Did you take off one of the game's icons? Or the one with the bent corner? And just what do you plan to do with that feast? Okay, user, don't touch anything else. You will end up breaking something fragile. And there we go. Let's just tear everything down. And what are you going to do with that stamp anyway? Put it on an email? Oh, that's disgusting. When I asked you to find a way out, I was talking about this dimension. The room! There's something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. Oh, characters, quiet! Mr. Wilhelm, open the door. It's your neighbor, Sherlock Holmes. It will never work, Holmes. What we need is a key. A key to open a door? You disappoint me, my dear friend. Be more creative. Make more daring associations. And think in four dimensions. You mean like you're doing now? Don't make a sound, user. Not a sound. What was that sound? A lost penny. It's my lucky day. Your lucky evening, my friend. There's something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. There's something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read.
Another penny. I'm going to be rich. You'll finally be able to pay your share of the rent. Another? There must be a leak. I hope you're not speaking of yourself, my dear friend. I'm getting a feeling of deja vu. You sure stop cheating for goodness sake! Holmes? I have the impression that there is whispering going on around us. A sort of voice with a Russian accent. But I'm not! There! Did you hear it? The only thing I heard is the gentle rustling of the wind. With a Russian accent. <laughs> You certainly have a thing for tinkering. That's not a good idea, user. No! Where are the monitor circuits? It looks like the set of the game, but seen from the other side. I know what you're going to do. Don't you dare go help them out. The door they're trying to open is really stuck. Leave it alone. User, you're really irritating! 
Aha! My Bartitsu techniques have gotten the better of this door. Come, Watson. Let's go inside. Don't go with them! Mr. Wilhelm, are you there? It's far too dark in here. I can't be expected to walk around in the dark, Sherlock. So try to find us some light, Watson. These characters are trapped in the dark. We're lucky. Let's cross our fingers and hope that they can't find the light. Gretchen, let's cross our fingers and hope that you can't find the light. <sighs> it's broken. I was worried you would move this moon. <laughs> Thankfully, there's no chance of that happening. At least, not as long as the device that's attached to this wire doesn't work. I get the feeling that sometimes I should just keep my mouth shut. There is something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. Oh. Ah, a strange device with a missing cog. I wonder what it could be connected to. We don't care. We haven't seen anything that looks like a cog anyhow. Fixing a machine with a stamp. How logical. Just in case, I hope it's not connected to a light source. No, 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 no. Where is the fake moon going? I hope it's not... Ugh. I knew it! Well done, Watson. We can finally see better. I get the feeling that Mr. Wilhelm is redecorating. I don't recall him having a view of the moon. This place scares the living daylights out of me. Mr. Wilhelm, are you dead? Holmes, he's floating. Watson, what has he got on his face? Mr. Glitch, oh no. It looks like some sort of relatively thick monochromatic parasite. And it's serious? You're a disgrace to the medical profession. Let me take a closer look at it. I, for one, would rather keep my distance from that thing. Don't touch that! That machine doesn't look like it's plugged in any ways.
What was that sound like a ringing bell? I think it came from this odd device. Oh, yes, Mr. Wilhelm told me about it. It's a prototype of Antonio Mucci's teletrophone. It allows you to communicate with another person from a distance instantly. I say, and how many of them exist? This is the only one of its kind. So it's useless. It's useless. User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. Stop playing around with everything you come across. Somebody will notice us. Anyway, it's just pixel porridge. And I don't have a magnifying glass on me. soul. It looks painful. Is it just me or did the red letter move? User, no more playing around. I can't stand hearing him scream. Finish him with your Bartitsu, Holmes. It's unbearable. How dare you steal from Mr. Wilhelm's scream? Put that edge back! You have no business with this letter H. User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. User, I think you've lost an eye. I'm, I'm going to be sick. Oh, uh, no, I can't. I'm a program. User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. There is something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. It looks like the fuses have blown. Well then, find a way to fix it, my good man. I haven't finished my investigation. Um... User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit.
User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. It looks like the fuses have blown. Well then, find a way to fix it, my good man. I haven't finished my investigation. Um... User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. There is something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. If you were thinking about moving that fake wall, forget about it. The marks on the ground show that a piece of rail is missing. Or a letter of the alphabet. Oh my Ray god. Ray is on a piece of rail. Wait, did you just use a letter from an onomatopoeia to fix a rail? But that doesn't make any sense! You might as well use, I don't know, a monkey to work an hydraulic pump. It's dumb! What's that but from what guy really gets me is that it works! You just swiped their mining fine glass. The feast wasn't enough for you. I just hope they won't figure it out. Developers only. <laughs> One more rule you're going to be able to break. I told you I had my magnifying glass in my hand, Watson, and it suddenly disappeared. There you go. They figure it out. That voice, it's the ghost, Holmes. The Russian ghost. But I'm not Russian! Mr. Wilhelm, you never told us you were such a talented ventriloquist. Uh, he's not the one speaking. I am. My name is Game. I'm a computer program. I'm with a user, a human. And we're trying everything we can to get home. Do you know how we can exit your game? Game? What game? Uh, your game. You are aware that the world you're in isn't real, don't you? <laughs> you don't know that you're in a video game, is that it? I'd rather look for my magnifying glass than continue listening to your mad jabbering, Mr. Wilhelm. But he's not the one... <clears throat> User, I think we are going to need Mr. Glitch's help. If he brought us into this dimension, he will probably be able to get us out of here. What's a video game? There's got to be a way to get it off. Maybe some kind of ritual? Unless, of course, you've got the number of the fire department. Are you trying to make a phone call? You can see that it's too much small. It's just pixel porridge. Nice zoom in, user. I knew that mining fine glass was a good idea. Mm. Well, this telephone chair is strange. It's like a mist puzzle. We have the phone number here. But I want to look down here. Uh, did the game crash? Echo! Ah, oh, I think I know where we are. It's a dictionary. This is where all the things that are used in the game are stored. 
A kind of hidden library. Only the developers can access this section. And the secret hatch, I suppose. Who are you going to call with this thing? We don't know anyone here. And he said it's the only one of its kind. Works. There's a connection. That's strange. The teletrophone is making that odd noise again. Someone seems to be trying to communicate with us. It's the video ghost homes. Come on, Watson, pull yourself together. It's probably Mr. Mucci who made a second one and is testing it. Mr. Sherlock Holmes speaking. A disenchantment ritual? You'll have to find another dupe, madam. Goodbye. Was it a video game? No, a telephone scam. User, this Sherlock Holmes fellow is not very cooperative. Oh. What a return of the light. You just plunged offerings in darkness, user. That's not very nice. Mind you, nothing you do even surprises me anymore. It's dark again over in this corner. I say, there's a bit of light over by the entrance. I may have lost my magnifying glass here. Well done, user. That character isn't by the communication device anymore. Okay, but now we can't call, can we? Finally, be able to use this teletrophone in peace. Oh, 
I think you're going to have to answer, Mr. Watson. Holmes, the Russian video game is speaking to me. Pick up the phone, damn it! Very well. Are you a video game too? Yes. Three steps for a successful disenchantment? I'm listening. Ah, that's what we're interested in. There must be a full moon. Oh, as luck would have it, it's not the case. Cover the victim with snow? Uh, it's the middle of May. Then gently place a large cherry on top. Is this a ritual or a cake recipe? So, let me summarize. Full moon, snow, big cherry. Thank you, madam. We are screwed. Mm. These cans of paint make me think of the three primary colors. Red, blue, and yellow. Except we're inside a cathode ray screen with a video signal, which is a mix of red, blue, and green. Uh, without a paintbrush, there's no point anyways. Why am I talking about mixing colors? Mr. Watson, could you have Miss Voodoo repeat it? Good evening, madam. Could you please repeat everything that's needed for the ritual? On the night of the full moon, cover the victim with snow and add a big cherry. Thank you very much, madam. So, we're missing a full moon and snow, as well as the big cherry. Okay, well, I do think this has gone on for quite a long time. I thank you for watching, if you indeed stick with it. I know I was really slow at puzzles, but hey, what can you do? At least I didn't use help. And this is honestly something I don't know how we will do the next part. I'm thinking we need to use the paint. Where would we get the paint barash? To uh, paint the moon yellow, then we somehow have to acquire the bathtub and the ice cream. Anyway, we will figure that out in the next episode. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.